morning, good morning, good morning. I'm gonna try this. I don't know how this is gonna work out. Ooh. How did you get up? It's 6 o'clock a.m. I have to be at work at 8. So, first thing I usually do is just lay here to 6.15. Listening to music, like I have to have music before I get up. Like I just have to. Like I just, I can't, I can't function without it. So I'm just gonna play some tunes, get up, take a quick shower, brush my teeth, and wash my face, and I will be back. Oh yeah, and get dressed, and then I'll be back. And I should be done with that by 6.45-ish. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, I'm done. I'm dressed. I still look a little... Um, anyways, like, I still look like morning. I don't know. I don't know why. Anyways, so, whatever. Moisturize my hair. Why is this sticking out? Whatever. Did all that good stuff. I also want to tell you that, like, anyways, in the morning, I'm constantly, like, like, I'm consciously drinking water. So, I don't know. This cup is pretty big. It's about as long as my head. And, um drink water in the morning because I don't want to get dehydrated out there like I just don't like so before I even go out I'm already hydrated you know like I don't need to be I don't need to be you know you know when you passed out because from water apparently you were supposed to have water an hour before Something like that. That's something I learned at band camp. But the thing is, I just just I just make sure I'm hydrated before I even go out. And that's with anything. Like, I don't know, I feel like whatever you do in life, like drink a cup, like just one cup of water before you do anything. Like before you Okay, so this is my breakfast. Two bagels, <clears throat> eggs, and I eat rice with my breakfast. It can be done. Mm. That's good. Just that because we're gonna do a lot of hiking today. Also, yeah, so like, I have to think about where we're going. So like different sites require like different levels of fitness, I guess. So like some sites are super easy to get to. Some sites, <clears throat> we literally hiking up the side of a mountain. And that's not me. Like, I just, first off, like, <sighs> elevations of 8,000 feet, right? 7,000 to 8,000, sometimes 9,000. And I'm coming from elevation of 171. Like, I just can't. Like, I can't. So, I have to, like, like, I'm already going to be stressed from just not being, like, I'm, I'm not, like, just out of shape. But if this is just not my environment. So, I just, I can't, like, take chances on anything else. So, I, like, I have to fuel up and I have to hydrate myself because I don't want that to be a problem on top of, I just, I can't breathe because the oxygen is too low. Anyways. <laughs> mm. I'm almost done with my water. But also, so, yeah, so, I just, I think about that. With my breakfast. So if I know it's like a pretty easy site. I won't go too heavy on the rice. Or whatever. But if if um, if um I know. You know where we're going. And he says oh yeah. It's going to be it's gonna be a trek in tomorrow. I know. To like. Do what I got to do. Before even leaving the house. And making sure I'm fueled up and gassed up. <clears throat> so okay. This is how I prepare it. <clears throat> Ouch. Got the rice, got the saute straight beans. Okay, so apparently I just cooked it way too long. And so they're blackened charcoal drills. Whatever, that's how I'm gonna call it. To make it look fancy, sound fancy. 
and then also the asparagus just on the side so I just I've already done one I just wrap it up like a little wrap it's super portable the way I said portable super portable and um, you don't have to worry about dishes like that and um, yeah so I'm gonna quickly wrap this up put all my dishes Put all my dishes up, get my book bag together, and yeah, head on out. 7.45 now. Hopefully I can make it on time. Okay, whatever. Okay, we're out. I'm out the house. It's 7.55. I don't know if you can see that. My watch is 10 minutes fast, so I walk to work because literally... <laughs> It's like that way, turn that way, turn that way. Like it's like a block over. <clears throat> okay, so I'm all geared up. I got my hat on today because um, I didn't have time to put on my turban. And yes, I wear turbans out in the field really because um, to be blackety black. I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. I wear it because um, it's just so much dust here. Like, it's like so dusty. And, um, <clears throat> and I try and make sure, like, dust and buildup doesn't get in my hair. But today I had to opt for the hat because um, I just didn't have time. And then also, it's, it's okay for me to have my hat on today because it's a really short day today. We did a lot yesterday. Um, so we're easing ourselves and doing not that much today. I'm not, like I said, I'll get, get it up, got my hat. If you're a body field intern, you need a hand lens. This is just like a tiny little magnifying glass that I got from where did I get this? Oh, the Bug Museum in New Orleans. But I use it as a hand lens. They sell little hand lenses on eBay. It's really good, especially like identifying grasses and whatnot. <clears throat> and then it's like fun. Like say you see like a little bug like in a flower or something. You just want to see what it looks like. It's just really good to have hand lens. And then I also have water. Ice water. This is um, half, one and a half liters. It's really good to have two to four. I just, I just never went and bought one of them big old things. <laughs> so don't do what I do. Go get proper amount of water. If at least get another water bottle to put in your backpack. Oh, I have my backpack. You know I got a backpack on. And yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do, especially when it gets more and more to the, into the summer. Like, at least get um, another two liter water bottle to carry. That way I'll have that way I'll have 3.5 liters on me at all times. But um, oh yeah, I also have hiking shoes on. I don't know if you can see that. And super, super thick socks. Even though grass sometimes still gets in your socks and it's so annoying. So annoying. If I, I have boots that aren't ankle boots. So they're like just regular thick shoes for hiking. I would prefer to have the ankle ones because they're just much more convenient. And then also like sort of semi waterproof. Um, I just got these like sophomore year of college, so I didn't really know what I was doing. I had never been in a field before, so I just randomly got some thick shoes and I was like, oh, I need these. And um yeah, that's about it. Put on deodorant, put on some lip stuff and, my bagel. and we're ready to go right here i'm here
Okay, so here we are at our first site, and um, just giving you a little, a little view of what it looks like. Um, when we first get there, we're setting up our, our meter by meter plots, and um, yeah, a lot of paperwork to be done really quickly. This is actually the sage that um, habitat that we're working with. This isn't the normal sage that you use to like, you know, detox your home and whatnot, but um, it still smells nice. <laughs> and Native Americans actually did use it for smudging. Um, sometimes I just take it, yeah. <laughs> sometimes I just take it and sniff it, like I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. What is this one? Um, uh, yeah, Camelina microcarpa. <laughs> He's an introduced from the old world weedy thing. C A. Yeah, that's put it over there. M I, and that's good enough. Yep. Okay. You see the round pods? Yeah. Okay. It kind of looks like. And that's a mud with short pods. It kind of looks like a lissom, except grown that's right, up. <laughs> that's right, same family, but the pods are round instead of flat. Right. And lupine. Um, is this um, Origeron speciosa? It is. Okay. Yep. Skeleton type leaves on there. Astragalus? Yeah. Uh huh. Condylaria. Really? It looks yeah. different. The, the bottom looks different than the top. Yeah. But there's this is more condylarius like here. This one's not quite. But that's a good ASCO5. Okay. Okie dokie. I think we're good. And, uh, oh, there's a little spermum root around yep. in there. You got him. Mm hmm. Okay. Hey Cheryl, which onion? Castilea, <coughs> Linera.
There's a lot out here that you don't notice. Like, her status sheet of what we get. And then those are write ins. So, it's not completely like dry, obviously. Yeah. Here's the flower table. But anyway, back to what's ever. So here's just a quick view of like our second plot. Oh my gosh, such a hike to get up there. It's like we hiked down and then we hiked up. And then if you zoom in, you'll see our car. That that little speck right there is our truck. So I'm not sure I'm not sure how many steps we took that day, but I just know it was a lot, a lot of steps. Okay, so we're headed back um, to town now, and of course, you know, there's always something weird going on, you know? So we ran into, I don't know, I guess it was a family moving their livestock to a different site, I guess. I don't know, but when I tell you it was so weird, it was like so weird, and then just to see like, once again, a whole family participating in this. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I'm back. <clears throat> and, um, I usually, usually, if you want to know the truth, truth, usually, I go to sleep. <laughs> like, I take a, like, Four hour nap. I wake up at nine or ten p.m. and then uh, you know, excuse me, <laughs> I need a nap. You see, I'm yawning. Anyways, um, yeah, so yeah, so. So I guess I'm not going to take a nap. I'm going to go to Starbucks and I'm going to um, do some like administrative work. Like I need to send some emails. I need to reply to some emails. And I need to do some research. Like, Is my lock dirty? What is it? See, this is what I be talking about. This, this is what I be talking about. This is why I gotta wear a turban. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna have to wash my hair serious. But, um, what was I gonna say? I was trying to think about. Oh, yeah, I'll send some emails. Oh, yeah, find what I'm gonna do after this. You know, like, some ideas running, get the ball rolling, work on some stuff, you know, computer stuff. Boring. That's why I like field work. Field work is like the best thing to do because it's like you're in it. I don't know how to describe it. It's like a lot of people study stuff, right? Like you study chemistry or you study psychology but everything gets way more fun and like way better when you're actually doing what you're studying well, not really doing but like monitoring or like touching and feeling and seeing this is annoying and seeing what you're studying so yeah that's why field work is amazing and that's why I hope my future entails a lot of field work I just can't sit inside all day. <laughs> Even though today was horrible, like I just I can't. 
once again, you took a Mississippi girl and put her in the mountains. Like, oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot deal with the hiking. Like our forest, Lonely Pine Forest, down in Hattiesburg and, you know, the Pine Belt area, flat. <laughs> it's like flat, like you just walk. You know what I'm trying to say? Like you don't, I mean, they're like hills, of course, but like not like deep, steep with gradients of like 35. Um, you know what I'm trying to say? So, yeah. Yeah. And then the elevation. Once again. But it's like, once again, it's all worth it. Like, immersing yourself into a whole new environment. Like, literally an entire new environment. Like, really shows you who you really are. Who, what you're capable of. And, like, what you can overcome. And, yeah. So, that's how I'm treating this summer. Kind of like a... I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know. I kind of just described it. I don't know. But yeah, so I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to Starbucks and get a tea, and then kind of mooch off for a while, and um, you know, get work done. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope. Um, shout out to like young botany majors and botanists in the world and if that doesn't apply to you at all thanks for supporting my video because <laughs> you could have easily just not watched <laughs> but um yes yeah, so stay tuned for the next video i don't know i don't know but if you want to see more like plant stuff let me know because <laughs> i can talk about plants all day <laughs> all day <laughs> all day <laughs> okay but yeah talk to you guys later